Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. We are looking at a beautiful day, 82 sunshine. Uh, no rain today, doesn't seem like it, and that's good, Candy, because it's game day for Leah. Big tennis match today. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Go, Leah. And I am here to promote tennis and promote her team's matches because if I don't, who will, Candy? You know, schools are all about football and baseball and soccer and lacrosse and uh you know i see uh, a lot of posts about all the other sports not a ton about tennis so i'm here to pump it up you make a very good point you pump along go ahead keep pumping <laughs> thank you it's a big big match today we get our game faces on today kid okay i'm ready yeah you gotta get ready so very excited about that as a matter of fact do you know this was very funny. So um, we were at the school the other day. I forget if it was uh, pickup. What we what was I forget exactly what was going on. But I was at the school, and I had Leah in the car, and Abigail was there as well. And uh, this was the day after the first football game of the season, and the football team had won. Remember, I told you there was a football game last week in the middle right. of the week, right? Quickly mentioned that, yes. Okay. The football team had won. And I look over and I see one of the football players. I, could, I just knew he's one of the big guys on the team. He walked past a security guard at the school. And the security guard gives him a big smile, gives him a huge high five, and a hug. And they didn't even have to, have to say any words. It. I knew they were talking about the game from last night. And Leah... She's got so angry. She's like, you know, it's always about football. Can't they do anything for tennis? Why? Can't, you know, and I, I so I got to pump it up, kid. Got to pump, pump it up. I thought you were going to say that that uh, popular football player came over and uh, right in front of you asked your daughter out on a date. Uh, no, shh, please. If that had happened, I would have driven away very oh, quickly. Oh, man, oh, man. Yes. No, not on my watch, Candy. Not okay. <laughs> <laughs> not happened. Oh, the uh, next couple of years are going to be very interesting around here. Yeah. Uh, they, listen, that's what, a, if I do say so myself, I think that is what gives us our charm, you and I, Candy. I am at a different <laughs> a different stage of life than you, you are. You are. At. You totally are. We uh, have both, you know, somebody asked me the other day, uh, you know, tell me about your station. I think, oh, it was at the polo event. It was someone doing some coverage for the polo match. And they said, could you tell us a little bit about the station? And I said, well, people from the ages of 8 to 80 listen to our radio station because there's something for everybody. And I went on to explain how I am the guy with the kids in school and I'm running around and you have the granddaughter and you're in a different stage of life. And we, we cover all we run the full gamut candy you know we do we do yeah. and i'm gonna i'm gonna send you a little picture i got last night of my world my sweet mave eating pasta oh so cute what type of pasta did she have oh it looks like um bow ties that have been oh. ripped and shredded so <laughs> cute did you send me the picture yet i did all right, let's see. Because nothing makes for better radio than you and I looking at a private picture. I know. Nothing Let better. Me, now, th oh, that, she's just like, what a mug for the camera. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, just gorgeous. A gorgeous human being. Look at that child. Yeah. Life's so simple. Enjoy some pasta. Candy, I, uh, I would babysit. I love that child like it's my own. She is uh, oh, gorgeous. Oh, that's very yeah. sweet of you to say. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me give you some sad news in the world, but I guess this was, uh, you know, this was coming. Uh, McDonald's getting rid of self-service soda machines in their stores. Oh, people take advantage of that. Well, there's three specific reasons. Number one, people take advantage of... Uh, make a mess just to, you know, take too much, you know, whatever. They're making a, a disaster of, of the place or they're taking too much and taking, make, taking advantage. Uh, number two, 
in a post-COVID world, a lot of places are trying to do things that are a little more hygienic. And the third factor is less and less people with food delivery services and drive throughs have any reason to actually go inside a fast mm. food restaurant. That's probably the biggest point. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, uh, they are. And by the way, there's still, I mean, most of the places I go into, the fast food places, still have their machines. But, yeah, slowly at some point, I think you're going to see that go away. What about a Costco? It's like a free-for-all over there. Uh, With the drinks. Oh, my God. What a mess that place it's is. It's such a free-for-all, I'm telling you. Yeah, you get the dollar fifty hot dog, but by the drink machine, it's a disaster. Disaster. Over there. And everybody is coming back. It's just yeah. I would yeah. close it down there if I were them. Yeah. And uh so yeah, at McDonald's they're just gonna have the servers behind the counter do the drinks, right. that's it. Right. Um right. And yeah, I could see a lot more going to that. But at oh my god, I have not been to Costco in a moment, but uh that drink area It's a free is- for all. It's insane. It's absolutely horrible. I uh, I can't stand it. Yeah, um, they got they should have somebody there to uh, you know kind of watch over the whole situation. But uh, I guess that would mean paying an extra staff member to uh, dedicate their time to that, and that's probably not you know not going to happen. But uh, yeah. that'd be the next place I'd uh, put the uh, skids on for uh, getting your own soda. Yeah, uh, candy. The other thing uh, I noticed today. Uh, do you have any inclination, any desire to go line up and get the new iPhone out today? I've never had an iPhone. I have an Android. Um, so no. All right. So they unveil it at one o'clock today. I guess, it, I guess that means it's not on sale yet. Uh, but, uh, would you, would you ever switch to an iPhone? Yes. I'm thinking of it. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm happy, but the only thing is, is FaceTiming. So because I can't really do that with my Android and your iPhone, I uh, would switch. I'm thinking yeah. of it, yes. I think it's time. So they are announcing. For Maeve. For Maeve. There's of nobody co- else's face I want to see. Of co- No, this is what you do. Uh, listen, uh, you call your son. Hey, uh, KC, I know you make a pretty good living over yes, there. Yes, do- very. You're doing great. Um, I would really like to FaceTime your daughter uh, as much as possible. Uh, would you like to put me on your phone plan? Maybe you can uh, <laughs> go. Hey, that's uh, a good idea. I never thought of that. Maybe for my next birthday, go get me the new uh, iPhone. Put me on your plan. Uh, so they are unveiling that at 1 o'clock today. I am not the person. Where primarily- do they unveil that? I guess uh, online and videos and things and their social so, media. No one's lined up to get one at a store right now. Is that what I'm understanding? Well, I think or they there will people be. people lined up? No, I think they will be when they're for sale. If I'm if I'm correct, they're just unveiling the device and how it's going to look and everything. Gotcha. Okay. Today, um, but when it's on sale, whether it's today or another day, yes, I think people will line up to go get the iPhone. I all do. right, all right. Good luck there, to everybody. There's some wild people out there. I would never do that for the new iPhone. First of all, the expense is just Very ridiculous. High. Rid- ridiculous. Um, th- there's this poll out there that uh, 30% of people would prioritize getting the new iPhone over paying bills like rent or mortgage candy. Yeah, that's not good. No, that's Can't horrible. live in your iPhone. Horrible. With that in mind, people. Yeah, no, you can't. The iPhone doesn't feed you, people. No, no, no there's no fold out bed, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Candy, we are less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, we've got national days and good news stories later in the 8 o'clock hour as well. Beautiful day, sunshine. Get up to about 82 or so. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.